Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I want to teach you a math trick of how you can multiply numbers when they are close to each other. In addition to being a cool math trick, this can actually come in handy once in a while. When my friend was interviewing for an investment bank position, they actually asked her one of these questions, and since she knew the trick, she was able to pull off the answer very impressively. So let's do an example of 17 times 23. How can you figure out the answer in your head and quickly? We're going to go through the steps slowly for this first problem. So the first step is you want to take the average of the two numbers. The average of 17 and 23 is 20. The next step is you want to mentally square that average. So 20 squared is 400. The third step is to look at the difference from the average. 17 and 23 are both three away from the average. We then are going to square that difference and three squared is nine. The final step is we're going to take the square of the average minus the square of the difference. So 400 minus nine gets us to our answer of 391. Let's do another example. Let's do 59 times 61. We mentally compute the average of 60. Then we take the square of 3,600. We then look at the difference from the average, which is one. We square that, which is also one. And finally, we take the difference of the squares, which gets us to 3,599. Let's do 98 times 102. The average is 100, which we then square, which gets us 10,000. The difference from the average is two, squared is four, and when we take the difference, we get the answer of 9,996. Let's do another problem. Let's do 53 times 55. The average is 54, which we then need to square. This will be tricky. Most of you don't know how to do this. I actually explained a trick in a previous video of how to square numbers in the 50s. So combining that trick, we'll go ahead and use it. The square of 54 is 2,916. The difference from 54 is 1. Squared is also 1. And taking the difference of the squares gives us the answer of 2,915. Why does this trick work? The reason, I'll give you an algebraic proof. When we're taking a number that's above and below a number x by y, we're multiplying x plus y times x minus y. Expanding that out, we get x squared plus xy minus xy and minus a y squared. The terms of xy cancel out, leaving us x squared minus y squared. And the x squared is why we square the average, and the minus y squared is why we subtract the square of the difference from the average. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can also support Mind Your Decisions on Patreon. I've made a page where you can subscribe, support the site, and get a bunch of cool rewards. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, or get my books at Amazon.